Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we are taking a look at the new beta release of Kira 5.1. So, we're going to take a look at some of the new features and bug fixes, but first I'm going to need you to go ahead and reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and make sure you give that notification bell a good first layer squish. Now that that's out of the way, here it is. This is the new beta release of Kira 5.1. Now there are some new updated features and the first thing you'll notice in the what's new section is this start metal printing now blurb so multiple new features have been added to Ultimaker Kira to enable printing with metal FFF materials these features can be used alongside the new metal expansion kit to unlock simple and affordable metal printing we will have a separate video on this because I think it's pretty cool and you'll want to check it out but for now we're gonna be moving on now if you don't know in these videos generally for the beta I will go over the new features and look at some of the bug fixes we're not gonna to get too in-depth with them but make sure that you are subscribed because I am gonna have a video when there's a full release of this version and that video will be in-depth use of these new additions and covering some of the bug fixes and what they actually did one of the important ones is the monotonic in uh, top layer they fixed um, also, this is pretty big deal. So increased segment resolution, better surface quality. This is a before and after picture of the segment resolution. So when doing round objects, you're getting a lot better effect, more like an arc welder. And it works really, really well. So smooth shapes will print with up to twice as many segments, resulting in a smoother surface and better overall surface quality. Improved supports when using Ultimaker support models. Now I haven't tested this out, out yet. Uh, I don't have an Ultimaker machine, so I don't use Ultimaker materials. So if there's anybody out there who is checking this out, definitely hit me up in the comments. I'd like to know about it. Um, the streamlined slicing process. Now, this is new as well. So following extensive user testing, we modified the slicing process for materials that use intent profiles. So this is intent profiles only. Um, we've now separated out the decision of which intent profile and layer height you want to use into two separate and easy to understand choices. So this is basically um, giving you the difference between the default, visual, engineering, and draft with your intent profiles. They're showing up as visual items up here instead of things you have to select from a list. So uh, new update to the UI, that's pretty interesting. And then 3MF project files know what you need. So this is also a big deal. You'll see that we are going to be migrating towards 3MF in the future. Thanks mostly to Prusa and their love for the format. But it is a much better format and you can actually get a lot more data in there with just about the same amount of space. So it's now easier than ever for you to collaborate with others while using any of the 250 materials available in the marketplace. When loading up a 3MF project file that uses a material profile, that you do not currently have installed, you will be prompted to download and install any missing profiles. It's this little yellow tab here that says, okay, you have this profile, but you don't have the material settings correctly, so you can download those as well to make sure that your profile works. So um, basically, the improved toolpath simplification algorithm, and where is right here? Monotonic ordering now works again for top services. That's a big deal. Uh, some people were getting this error where it was resetting the configuration if it wasn't a complete configuration or if it didn't, didn't transfer properly. Um, so they fixed quite a few things. A bug where remove raft inside corners didn't always remove all corners. Position of the toolbar when it was too tall to fit. Intense and recommended mode. So quite a few bug fixes. As always, they've added a few printer definitions. And we can close this here too. And let's see if we can get a look at those intent profiles. I don't think we can because I don't think I have the right settings at the moment. But that's okay. Like I said, I will be going over this a lot deeper in each of those changes in a video on the full version when it is released. For now, it is just the beta. If you want to check out the beta, make sure that you leave feedback with Ultimaker. They do these betas so that they can get your feedback and fix bugs before they release. Few of them always get through the cracks, but you know, it's not a big deal. They're pretty good about updating and getting new features out there as well. If you have any questions about Kira, check out my Kira questions playlist. I'll put a little blurb up here you can click on, and that'll take you to that. Basically, if you put Kira question in the question and leave it in the comments, I will try to make you your own video answering that question for you. I do quite a few of these. I have been taking a little break over the summer here, but now that I'm uh, getting back into it, I'd be happy to field more questions. Don't forget to leave them down below, and we will see you in the next one, folks. Technivorous out.